players, particularly the forwards, responded after a, a tough night in Calgary? I, I mean, uh, they, we all played better than the night we played in Calgary. There's, there's no doubt about that. I mean, uh, you'd like to think that uh, at some point that we get a little more production out of them. But, uh, uh, you know, I mean, if we're, if we're counting how did we fare just on based on goals and assists, then, I mean, obviously we weren't as good as we'd like to. But, I mean, as far as want and will and wanting to try, you know, I mean, I, I can't ask for a lot more than what they had. I mean, that was four games and six nights in four different cities with a lot of travel, and and we played a pretty good team that was rested. So, I mean, I, I'm uh, giving them the benefit of the doubt that they were pretty fatigued, but they never quit. So uh, uh, that makes you a little bit feeling a little bit better. You sat uh, Pod Colson last night. You played him the night. Just um, how do you think he responded? But also uh, it was Hoaglander's turn to sit tonight. Was it a similar type of thought process for you in terms of not being a punishment, but just giving him a different way to watch the game? Yeah, I wanted both of them to miss one game. They hadn't missed a game uh, at all. And uh, uh, that was that was the, the theme behind it. Plus, it, it, in the end, if you're going to insert Pearson – and um, which, you know, we're not asking them to travel halfway across the country and, and not play. But, uh, uh, you know, the other guys were playing pretty well. I mean, the Lamico line was playing well. And, and I thought Chason and Dickinson were playing well. Um, and I thought a vet- the veterans would be better suited for this game. That's the other part of the reason that we set uh, Hoggy. But uh, I thought Pods responded really well. He tried really hard. Uh, he was even emotionally involved uh, with the other team, which I hadn't seen in a while uh, verbally. And he had a couple of good chances to score. He's just, he's really gripping the stick twice, uh, really tight. And uh, hopefully he can settle down and he will, by the time in a couple of years, he'll be a really, really good pro right now. He's in a learning process. Next is Ian McIntyre, Sportsnet. Does it feel, Bruce, like you've been on one gigantic road trip since that initial week and a half in Vancouver? Uh, it, it does think uh, feel like we've been on a long, a long road trip. There's no doubt. I mean, when you play 13 out of 16 uh, games on the road and, uh, you know, in a couple different trips, but you're going across country basically twice uh, if you can't classify Nashville as from Vancouver is a long way off. So, I mean – yeah, I mean, it'll be great if they get some good rest and uh, and when we start a good homestand and hopefully that the, the fans are allowed to all come back in. And, and if that's the case, then I, I think we're going to put a pretty good push on for these, you know, remaining 40, 40 or so games, 38 games. You still won uh, the road trip, but obviously a win tonight would have made it pretty special. Uh are you more glass half full or, or half empty after a game like this? Well, I mean, you're, you're never feeling good when you lose, but I'm, you look overall at uh, four games on the road, we're two, one, and one. I think uh, most teams in this league would accept that and would take it as, as a victory. Uh, you never take it as a victory when the last game is a loss uh, because we all hate to lose. But uh, when I wake up in two days and I'm going to say, you know what, they, they, they gave it, everything they had we just did once they scored that fourth goal in the in the third period you could see that we just didn't have the pushback energy we if we could have gotten and tied it 3-3 I think adrenaline would have kept it kept us going but we didn't and uh, that's hockey they're a good hockey club there's a reason they got almost 60 points now next up we'll go to Ben Kuzma Post Media Bruce this morning you used words like uh, survive and uh maybe sneak out a point tonight. It was mission accomplished in the first. I mean, you were tied. Power play goal would have made a big difference tonight at some point, Bruce. I think you guys are 0 for 8 in the last two games. What are you not seeing uh, on the power play? Well, we were 0 for 8. We were 2 for 2 for two the, the night before, so now we're 2 for 10 in our last 10, and that's 20%. I mean, that's how power plays go. Um, we had some good looks, especially on the second one, and we didn't put it in, and uh, that's – you know, I'm not looking to, to criticize those guys. You can't be as consistent as you'd like to be, or you'd have a 30% power play. And uh, there's only one team in the league that has that at this present time. So, um, you know, uh, we got it in, we made plays, we didn't score, we got shots, but 
Next game, you never know, three of those might go in. And then all of a sudden it's the same scenario and you got three out of four and, and you're looking good. So I, I don't put a lot of stock into that. Thank you. We'll take one last one here from Jim Diamond, Associated Press in Nashville. Hey, Bruce, how difficult is it to, to game plan and then actually put into effect, uh, you know, uh, guarding Philip Forsberg, considering all he does, you know, all over the ice and, and how he can hurt you in so many different ways? Well, I mean, you know, I mean, he's, he's a great player. We face great players every night. And um, very rarely do I uh, sit and say, listen, we've got to stop Forsberg or they're going to win. He did it to us tonight. Uh with two goals, but uh, uh, I think at the same time, I mean, he's going to score you your 40 goals, and there's guys almost on every team that are going to be capable of doing that. But uh, you know, we 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 look at how to how to play as as our team, and if we do the right things, we stop most everybody, and and recently we have, and so that's uh, the way I plan it. I don't go out there and and, and plan against Philip Forsberg every night. Okay, thanks everyone. We'll leave it there for our post-game media tonight. Thank you so much for joining us.